This video will discuss question 28. Consider figure 4. What is the allowable voltage range of the output signal V out so that all transistors are in saturation? And after this, 8 options are given for possible voltage ranges. Let's first have a look at figure 4. In figure 4, we see 4 times the same two-stage amplifier with different configurations for the compensation capacitor CC. And in the caption, we can find multiple parameters for this circuit. To investigate what voltage range is acceptable for Vout so that all transistors remain in saturation, we should have a close look at these two catcode transistors, because Vout will have the most direct effect on the operating mode of these two transistors. Let's make a sketch first. In the caption of figure 4, it is given that the bias voltages at the gates of these casco transistors is 1 volt. We do not know yet what the voltage is at this node, which is the source of our PMOS transistor, and this node, which is the source of our NMOS transistor. But we can find it using the given information of the overdrive voltage of both transistors. So firstly, the overdrive voltage of the upper transistor is the same thing as VSG of our transistor minus the absolute threshold voltage. And we can rewrite this to find the source voltage. In the caption of the figure, we can find the value for VOVP, that is 0.5 volts. So we can fill in that value, 0.5 volts. The absolute threshold voltage is also given, that's 0.4 volts. And the gate voltage is the bias voltage, bias 2, so that is 1 volt. And together that makes 1.9 volts. So we can now fill in, in this figure, that this source has a voltage of 1.9 volts. And we can do the same thing for the source of the Edmunds transistor. So let's do that. The overdrive voltage is the same as the gate source voltage minus the threshold voltage. And now we have to find the source voltage as the gate voltage minus the threshold voltage and the overdrive voltage. And we can now find all of these values in the caption of the figure again, where the gate voltage is 1 volt, the threshold voltage is, let's have a look, 0.5 volts and the overdrive voltage is 0.1 volts. So we have a voltage at this source of 0.4 and we can now fill that in on the figure. With this information we can now start answering the question what condition needs to apply to V out such that both transistors operate in saturation. For MP5 to operate in saturation we need to say that the source drain voltage of our PMOS transistor is larger than the overdrive voltage. And that overdrive voltage is given in the caption. And that is 0.5 volts. We know what the source voltage is, that's 1.9 volts. And we can subtract from that the drain voltage, which is the output voltage. So from this you find that the output voltage needs to be smaller than or equal to 1.4 volts. And we can do the same thing for the NMOS transistor, where the drain source voltage needs to be larger than the overdrive voltage of the NMOS. The drain voltage is V out. The source voltage is 0.4. And it needs to be larger than 0.1. So from that you can conclude that the output voltage has to be larger than 0.5 volts. And if we combine both results, what you will get is that the output voltage needs to lie in between 0.5 and 1.4 volts.